What is going on? How did we get here? Let's take a look. This started, this was end of August, early September, I-94 downtown, so near Washington Avenue. And by the time we catch up and start recording here, he's uh, taking off his shoes, just running in his socks, and the trooper has been following him for half a mile or a mile, and he, occasionally he'll run back and forth across the roadway there. At the bottom of your screen, there's someone who's taking some video themselves that kind of caught their attention. Troopers following, making sure to kind of keep them safe, trying to buy some time to get additional help on this. And the first truck has arrived, so the first truck is out there to provide a little extra safety. Things are going to get interesting here in a moment as he's thinking about starting to do a lane change, so to speak. Look at the presence of mind of the DOT first truck driver. They switched their signboard to say, do not pass. A great safety move. You can't see it, but the state trooper is already out of their car. He jumped over the median barrier, and now it's on. Very scary situation. If your heart is beating right now, so is mine. Here's our reverse angle. running down the freeway, but he's not going to leave his shoes behind. He's got his shoes with him. Wow, there he goes. So he goes right over the barrier. Trooper's in pursuit. He's watching, looking. I mean, he was planning on going across there. And he looks away for a moment, and Trooper takes his opportunity. Trooper sees he's looking away from me and jumps at that opportunity. He goes one-on-one. -on -one. First truck driver comes out as well. And that Trooper pushing him right back against the wall. You know, I think this went about as well as it could have gone. And, the, you know, that trooper, he's thinking, get him out of the road, get him out of the road, get him, get him away from traffic, right? Because we're on a freeway. Definitely give some credit to the DOT driver. He was out of his truck over the barrier pretty fast, and they don't get paid to do that. Keep that in mind. So he was going above and beyond for sure. Huge response. I mean, uh, here's, you know, that trooper was trying to buy time to get the help that he needed. Well, here's the help does arrive. And sometimes people balk or get a little concerned about how many squads come out, but there's not a lot of cost to taxpayers. They show up, make sure everyone's okay, and they head on their way. There's no big cost there. Traffic slows down for a moment. At MN Safety, we believe knowledge is power, especially when it comes to public safety. Please support our mission by liking, subscribing, and sharing our videos. Subscribing is free, and you can always unsubscribe. If you don't like our videos, leave us a comment. We try to read each and every one of them. We want to get better and appreciate your feedback.